in this exercise, we go back to uh, this example of a fraction equation with a parameter. And we have solved it naively, that is, not paying special attention to uh, what can the domain be, how does uh, the value of m affect the set of solutions. We just assume that there is one single solution to find, and we just found it, and it's an expression in m. But we, there is a little remark here that there are two exceptions, two special values of m where there is not a single unique solution. And so what's left to show is, well, why these two special values and also what is the set of solutions in this case. So the value m equals 0 is due to this division by 3m, which assumes that m is not 0. If, however, m equals 0, then this equation, 3mx equals 2m plus m squared, is always true. This is 0, this is 0, this is 0. So set of solutions is the whole domain. Let's just be careful what the domain is. If we go back to the original equation, we see that 2 is excluded and m is 0, so we can ignore this. 0 is excluded. Now, the second value, m equals 4, appears the following way. It also has something to do with the domain. We never settled the domain in this case here. So the domain is all of R except 2 and M over 2. When we write that the set of solutions is the unique m plus 2 over 3, we assume that this thing here is neither 2 nor m over 2. And there are some values of m which might make these two equal. So first, we look for the special value that makes the solution m plus 2 over 3 extraneous by being equal to 2. That uh, gives us m plus 2 equals 6, so m equals 4. And in this case, there is no solution. And in the second case, m plus 2 over 3 equals m over 2. So times 6 gives us 2m plus 4 equals 3m, so we still get m equals 4. So in summary, you can write the following. If m equals 0, we get as the set of solutions all of R except 0 and 2. If m equals 4, there are no solutions. And in any other case, we get the single solution m plus 2 over 3. Now, this is an exercise just to show you how can one transport the ideas of extraneous solutions, special values for parameters, to a fractional equation containing parameters. We have only discussed varying sets of solutions for linear equations with, equations with, with a parameter, and fractional equations containing a parameter, we just solved them naively, so just in the case that there's a single unique solution.
or two. But I don't expect you to be able to do this on the exam, but this exercise is just to show you that the same logic applies to uh, fractional equations with parameters as well.